The two days supported test ahead of next week's Pirelli Catalunya round held in the same circuit. As seen so often in testing, Toprak Razgatliolu was the lead BMW rider with second place overall, although he did have a small crash turn 10 in the morning. He set a 1 minute 40.768 seconds to lap 4 tenths behind rival Bulega but was still leads the BMW riders. The fastest lap on the timesheet was 1 minute 40.304 seconds, set by the Italian using the SCQ tire and completed 72 laps. Bulega was focusing on keeping his feeling with the Panigale V4R, while the primary goal was to prepare for the round next week. Ilvaro Bautista, who finished in third place, 0.725 seconds down on his teammate with an incredible 103 laps to his name. In terms of independent Ducati riders, Sam Lowe's was the quickest, the number 14 ending up fourth despite a low side crash at turn 10 which then caused a technical issue with a faulty sensor at around the halfway point. Yamaha had a strong opening day of testing, with Jonathan Ray back on track following his race 2 crash in Australia and taking fifth spot. The plan for him was to try and find the feeling with the bike he had at Jerez, and he set a 1 minute 41.655 seconds to take P5 followed by Remy Gardner as the second fastest Yamaha rider. Danilo Petrucci was the seventh fastest and just over a second away from Bulega. The number 9 had nothing new on his V4R as he tested Pirelli's new SCX tire, and he was ahead of Michael Rubin Rinaldi in eighth. The number 21 crashed at turn 5 in the afternoon but was still able to finish inside the top 10 with a 1 minute 41.692 seconds followed by. Garrett Gerloff with BMW finished the first day in P9. Alex Lowe's headed into the test on the back of a sensational Sunday in Australia, and he continued to enjoy his place as KRT's team leader with 10th place at a circuit that hasn't been particularly kind to Kawasaki in the past. However, his day was disrupted by a turn 10 crash with just over half an hour left in the session, which brought out the red flags for a few minutes. Andrea Iannone was 11th. The maniac aiming to recover his feeling at this circuit as it was the first time he's ridden here on a World SBK spec machine. Andrea Locatelli was outside the top 10 in 12th, around 3 tenths off his teammate Jonathan Ray. They were joined Michel Piro in P13 from the Ducati test team as the Italian helped to develop the power delivery and engine characteristics. Axel Bassani, who was focusing on the upcoming round, was 14th. For the test, he had Marco Melandri by his side although there's no commitment yet beyond the Catalunya test. KRT did have some upgrades to try at the test, although they didn't reveal what they were, only that they couldn't be seen from the outside. 